uh, choice of law and its limitations. Uh, so in any contract there ha between two different uh, people in two different legal systems, there needs to be a determination of which law you're going to choose, uh, English law, New York law, Ontario law, Quebec law. Uh, and in, coming, in, in approaching that, there's a, a step process here which uh, I find is useful to determine out what you should be doing about choice of law. So one is which law will apply if you do nothing. Uh, that is, if you don't put a provision in the contract. And, and ordinarily you would. But if you don't choose a law, you'll know how the choice could affect the transaction and whether it's worthwhile negotiating, putting effort into negotiating uh, a, a, a choice of law provision. Among the laws the parties might choose, uh, determine if any are deal makers or deal breakers. So that won't be an issue if you're talking about New York law or English law, but if you're dealing with a government in a developing country where they insist that it be their law, uh, you know, how much risk does that add? And do you want to negotiate that or, or, or not? Step three, know the limits of choices you can make uh, so you can't avoid the mandatory features of certain laws. So you, if you say um, you're applying, you know, pick any law, uh, New York law, there may be some provisions in New York that you can't contract out of. Um, an example in the arbitration sphere is you can't expand the extent to which the, uh, an arbitral award can be appealed to the courts or add new grounds of review. The Supreme Court in the U.S. said you can't do that. So uh, you need to know uh, the relevant areas where you're stuck in that choice of law with things that you can't change, even if both parties agree. Uh, step four, consider multiple laws, that is, a governing law to apply to uh, one part of the contract and not another. I don't necessarily recommend it, but sometimes that may make sense uh, in a particular situation. Step five, know the limits of governing law will govern. Uh, some matters like capacity to contract or validity of contract may be affected. Um, and then step six, if you have a governing law that works for you uh, and you get into a problem, then uh, show up and defend and prove that law because if not, you could be.